Hi, there are a few new people here. I want to very much thank uh, P.D. Morin for collaborating with me. It was really great talking to him. I want to thank, and I want to thank American, Breadbeard, Camazots, and Chris Sabo, and all the other broadcast folks. It was really a great time being on. In case you didn't know, I was a little tipsy at the time, but I had a blast in, in the broadcast. So I want to thank all of you who decided to show up to my channel after watching that nonsense. So for all the people that watched my bit of the sh of the slowdown, I touched a little bit on how I got into weird shit because I was a little drunk and bullshitting with my friends in the uh, smoking lodge of a gay bar, and I kind of want to talk more about that. This isn't a directly political thing, but I do not have the wherewithal to dissect Natalie's apology and Buck Angel controversy right now, and I don't want my want to get my analytics suplexed like that again, so we're going with a little something uh, non-controversial. So I'm 23 right now. I started getting into like the weird shit about New Year 2018, something like that. Um, what? How, like I said, I started by getting, like, really drunk, hanging out with my friends, and they'd start talking about, you know, like, seeing auras and, um, you know, doing tarot readings and stuff like that, and I thought it was kind of fun and all that, and I listened in, and then I moved into college last year at, into my dorm, and, um, there was something a little off. Um, I would get sleep paralysis and I would see this old man's face whenever I'd open my eyes. And whenever I'd have to go to the bathroom at like 3 a.m., when I looked in. Funny story the recording just cut off there. I did not press the stop button and I it's weird, because that's never happened to me before, unless I was running out of camera space. Anyway, like I was saying, I would go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and I would see that person's, that man's face again at like 3 a.m. staring back at me in the mirror. And I thought, well, this shit is strange. So I went to my friend, who was like, oh, don't fuck with that, and I was like, I'm gonna do what I want. That thing happened again. But anyway, I got a pendulum uh, to try and communicate with it, and it was saying some kind of scary shit at me, and then I... Uh, decided to do a Ouija board. It happened again. I decided to do a Ouija board session and it went straight to the goodbye thing and yeeted out. And I had tourmaline and black salt all over my room and I had like three altars out, five crucifixes. I'm not even joking. And uh, there was a black mold problem in my room, and that might have caused a sleep paralysis, but I'll tell you what happened next. Mid-November, I got to You don't see my hands heading for the Luttons right now. I'm not even joking. I'm not causing this shit to happen. Mid-November, the ghost scratched my arm. I was laying in bed. I was not touching anything. I felt a burning sensation in my elbow. And I looked, and there were scratches. And I'll try and see if I can retrieve the picture, but there were scratches, and my entire arm was covered in hives. And that shit weirded me out 
super badly and more and more stuff came into play and I wasn't like a believer in any specific thing I was just like a general animist and weird things kept happening and I kept trying to appease the ghost with vodka wine schnapps and nothing worked and then um, on New Year's I was in a car accident I was completely sober, I was heading back from a friend's house, and um, I didn't know the way, so I had the GPS on. Last minute, it turned me to, it told me to take a turn, it was raining, my car, my car turned out, and I hit the guardrail. And I got away with only a, I got away with only a scar on my stomach, but I don't, didn't really know why I didn't get a concussion or until I talked with some friends in another witchcraft server and told them about dreams I had been having and apparently I think it was Morgan who saved my life so that's why I do the whole Morgan worship thing thank you mom and I think it's because I went to do things like protecting the environment and stuff. She's, you know, goddess of war and all that, but also I kind of like to thank nature and unofficially saving the asses of lazy college students like myself who turn it out during exams. But anyway, throughout the spring semester, the ghost came back even whenever I moved into another dorm and it got really weird. Uh, I got scratched again. I didn't get pictures that time. Um, I never tried to do another Ouija board because that thing pissed it off. And then when I moved back to school this year, I thought that, you know what, it's done. Maybe this stuff was a, was a fluke from the black mold, but the black mold is gone now. They, reno they tore apart the bathrooms that had the black mold and Labor Day, uh, the, micro the microwave started going off, switching modes like crazy, and then I unplugged it, and it would still be beeping and switching modes. And then the next, the next day, it flickered lights on and off on its own. So it's still here, but it's not really violent anymore. So I just wanted to make one of my videos about my general experiences about why I'm into the whole weird left thing. Um, and I'm sorry for all the people who wanted my general sense of comedy. I swear I'm working on other things right now. I just had to, you know, get this out real quick because I wanted to do a spooky thing and next week I'm doing a Shawane video, which I'm super excited about. So next week we'll have the fun spooky stuff. All right. Bye.